Yeah, let us see the question how to solve. What they are asking here, we need to find the derivative of a sine inverse of x using the first principle, right? So now let us see how to prove this. For proving this, so let us assume what is the given thing that is f of x. What is f of x? That will be sine inverse of x, right? So we already know that what is the formula for uh, f dash of x? Let me write it down. We know that f dash of x is what? Limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h, right? So what I will do, I will substitute each and every formula in this, right? What is f of x plus h? Wherever x is there, we need to replace with what? Sine inverse of x plus h minus. What is this f of x value will be? Sine inverse of x by h. Outside, what we should have? Limit h tends to 0 should be there. So let me write it down. Limit h tends to 0. Is it okay? So now let us see, if you do like this, directly if you substitute h is equal to 0, what we'll be getting? We'll be getting sine inverse of x minus sine inverse of x, 0 by 0 form we'll be getting. So to avoid that, uh, what we can do? So we should not do this formula, okay? We need to remember one formula which is in the form of sine inverse of x plus sine inverse of y or let me write it down. If you know the formula sine inverse of x minus sine inverse of y, it has this formula. What it will be? This is nothing but simply sine inverse of x into, this will be x into root of 1 minus y square, agree? And this will be, let me see what's here, minus y, opposite, y into root of 1 minus x square. The same formula will be applying here, is it okay? So now let us continue here. What I will be doing? This is our first term and this is our second term. Let me write it out. This is our x, this is our y. So same formula I will apply. What is this? This is limit h tends to 0. The formula will be sine inverse of x, x is what? x plus h into root of 1 minus y. What is y? That is x square. Minus, what is y? y is x into root of 1 minus, what is x? That is x plus h, the whole square. I think you understood the concept what I am teaching here. Is it okay? By h. Right? So what should we do? We have to solve it for further. For solving what you need to do? If you directly multiply also nothing is going to solve. Better if you remember. See, I will be writing all the formulas in the red color in the right side of the page. Okay? Yeah. So if you remember one thing, we know that limit h tends to 0. Sine inverse of x by x value will be what? This will be always 1. So I will be applying the same formula in this case. Is it okay? So to what is this? The whole, whole coefficient. Here, if you have an x here. The same x should be there in the denominator. This is the whole x. I just want the same thing. So what I will do? I will simply multiply and subtract. Multiply and divide. So this is limit. H tends to 0. This will be sine inverse of. This is x plus h into root of 1 minus x square minus x into root of 1 minus x plus h the whole square. Okay. The same thing I want. I will be dividing with that. That is x plus h into root of 1 minus x square minus x into root of. 1 minus x plus h to the whole square. I'll multiply and I'll divide. What I should multiply here? Same thing. x plus h into root of 1 minus x square minus x into root of 1 minus of x plus h to the whole square, right? So if you see here, denominator h is there. So that will be as it is. So I'll be writing here in this case. Is it okay? Yeah. So what I can say with the help of a formula, we can conclude that first term will be simply 1 and this will be limit h tends to 0. So let us see what is there in the right side part here. We are having x plus h. Is it okay? So now let me write it down here. So this is simply try to multiply 1 by 1 here. This is x plus h into root of 1 minus x square minus x into root of 1 minus of x plus h the whole square by h. Is it okay? So what should we do? We have to solve for further. For solving this, See, simply let us do, uh, directly if I substitute h is equal to 0, try to remember here, we are having x plus, uh, okay fine, for your sake I will do, this is x into root of 1 minus x square minus, again, this will be x into root of 1 minus x square divided by h, which is what it is again in the form of a 0 by 0. So now what I will do, I will again try to rationalize this term, this term, is it okay? What is my rationalization? Do, uh, multiply the opposite symbol. Okay, let me write it down. x plus h into root of 1 minus x square into x root of 1 minus x plus h the whole square by h as it is. Rationalizing the numerator means try to multiply the opposite term. x plus h into root of 1 minus x square plus x into root of 1 minus of x plus h the whole square. And denominator will be x plus h 
into root of 1 minus x square plus x into root of 1 minus x plus h by whole square. Is it okay? If you check about the numerator, numerator is in the form of this is total a minus b, this is in the form of a plus b. We already know what is the formula for a minus b, a plus b, a square minus b square. So same formula will be applying here. This will be limit which tends to 0. a is what? This is x plus h into root of 1 minus x square a square minus b. b is what? x into root of 1 minus x plus h by whole square a square minus b square. Is it okay? Right? Uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Hmm. Now check it. This is x into the total denominator. So let us take x plus h into root of 1 minus x square plus x into root of 1 minus x plus h to the whole square. I think you got it, right? Now let us move on. How to do this is whole square. So let us solve this for further, which is nothing but limit h tends to 0. If I apply, what it will be? Apply the square. So this is x plus h to the whole square. See, if you remember one thing, we have formula a b the whole square. This is the formula. This is a square into b square. Same formula I will be applying here. And this will be square and root will be cancelled. This is 1 minus x square. Is it okay? Minus. This is also what? This is simply x square into square and root will be cancelled, which is 1 minus x plus h to the whole square. Is it okay? And denominator keep as it is. This is h into x plus h into root of 1 minus x square plus x into root of 1 minus of x plus h to the whole square. Hmm. So now let us try to sub, uh, apply the multiplication part here. If I multiply, this is in the form of a plus b whole square. Or if you look into it, can I take anything common in this case? You can do in that way also. Uh, fine, let us substitute multiply directly here. This is what uh, x plus h whole square. What is the formula for x plus h the whole square? This is a square plus b square plus 2ab, right? Into this is 1 minus x square. This is x minus. This will be x square into 1 minus. What it will be? This is again uh, multiply with the minus sign here. This is x square minus x h square. Agree? And this will be mm, plus the 2ab. Outside minus is there. This will be minus 2xh. I think you got it, right? So by this will be h into x plus h. This is a simple calculation part. Nothing to worry about. Plus x into root of 1 minus x plus h the whole square, right? If you move on for further, this will be a limit h tends to 0. Simply multiply with 1. If you multiply with 1, this will be x square plus h square uh, plus 2xh. Now multiply with minus x square, minus x square 4, minus x square h square. Uh, this will be minus 2x cube h. Now multiply with this, minus x square. This will be minus x square, minus minus plus x square 4, minus minus plus x square h square, minus minus plus 2x cube h. Are you getting my point here? My denominator. This is whole into h. So this will be h into, this is simply x plus h into root of 1 minus x square plus x into root of 1 minus of x plus h, the whole square. See, I think I am doing everything step by step. You should understand. If you have still any doubts, just let me know in the comment section. Okay. So we can cancel uh, x square 4, x square 4 will be done. x square, x square with opposite sign will be done. And uh, x square, h square, x square, h square, opposite symbol will be done. And these two terms also I can remove. Agree. So from the left over terms, what I can take simply, I can take h common from the numerator. If I take h common, this will be x plus 2h. Uh, sorry, uh, h plus h plus x is 2x. Is it okay? This is the hmm. 2x, right? Hmm. By denominator will be h into this is nothing but x plus h into this is 1 minus x square plus x into root of 1 minus of x plus h the whole square. Is it okay? So from this, what I can say, I can remove the h, h. Then what I can do, nothing will be going to what? Infinity. So directly wherever limit h is there, simply take it as a 0. So this is 0 plus 2x by denominator x plus 0 into root of 1 minus x square plus x into root of 1 minus of x plus 0 the whole square, which is nothing but what? 2x by, this is x into root of 1 minus x square. Hmm. This will be x into root of 1 minus x square plus x into, this is also simply root of 1 minus x square. Is it okay? Huh. So denominator is in the form of what? A plus A. We know that A plus A will be 2 here denominator. So try to apply. So what we will be getting here, this will be 2x. And denominator will be 2x into root of 1 minus x square. So can I remove 2x, 2x from the numerator as well as from the denominator? What I will be getting? Answer will be 1 by root of 1 minus x square. What is this? This is simply nothing but what? F tends to 0. 
Is it okay? Okay, directly we know this formula. If they ask you in the principle, with the help of your first principle, this is the way of doing it, right? I think uh, you understood everything. If you have any doubts, you can ask. Thank you.